Hello friends, uh, in the previous video we added this uh, Tailwin CSS dash dashboard and the GitHub repository of this dashboard is here. So Esteban Maito and Windmill dashboard. But uh, this dropdown is not working and also this one. So for that we need to change it uh, Alpine.js, so I'm going to copy this and add it in our admin layout when we have the asset app.js, here is our Alpine, remove the, this and add this one, save, come here and refresh and if I click now, yeah, we have the drop down. Next, I want to remove all the buttons here or the links and leave only the dashboard and add one more for the product and uh, that's it okay for you if you want only the admin but if you want more roles so if i open this uh, spati.b docs laravel permission this package is very popular and i have used this one so with this package we can create many roles or create many permission and give the user permission to do something or assign a role to do so only for writer or can edit or anything you want uh, for that we need to create a separate model for example for uh, model for roles and assign them to the user and this Laravel permission this assign the role with a, a pivot table okay so here we have a migration for a role and a, a pivot table for user for a model and a role. Now you are okay if you want only the user and the admin who can manage the, the project. But if you want more roles, I'm going to do this one. So in here, first save this uh, and After that, I'm going to open the users table. And here we have this is admin. Now I'm going to remove this and create a new, a new uh, model, a role model. So artisan make model role and dash m for migration. Okay. And if I open that uh, roles migration, roles, I'm going to add the assigned table and uh, string for name. And in the users table, now we can say dollar sign table uh, and sign a big integer for the role ID if we want to make the relationship here or if we want to create a pivot table we need to create a pivot table so I'm going to do this in this uh, with within a user stable uh, for that we need also to give it the default role ID when we create the user so I'm going to say the default to be one but uh, we don't have that 
the one row ID here. Okay, so when we say migration, we don't have the roles. So for that, we can create the roles right here. Dollar sign roles, and it's going to be an array with user, admin, and writer. Okay, you can do anything, but I just, I added this uh, writer as a example here. And here we can say for each, I'll assign roles as role, and say role, import the model, and create, and the name is going to be the role. Okay, save. Close this one. So close this one, open the terminal and say artisan, migrate fresh. And we have, now we need to add the mass assignment available property name to the role. So open the role model and add it here the protected dollar sign fillable sorry fillable and name and also in the user model we need also to add the role ID here. After that Run again, migrate fresh, and everything is okay. Clear. If I open the table plus and the refresh now, we have also the roles here. Roles with user, admin, and writer. And user, if I create now a new user, come here. And we need to go to the register page and create a test user okay if I come here and refresh the role ID is one I'm going to create another one as an admin so admin say register and we have now another user which role like this one okay but if I refresh and click here now we don't display that and uh, also so here I'm going to give you this admin role as admin which is the role like this two and if I give it role like this two save come here and refresh we are not seeing that link here to go to the admin and if i go to the admin we have forbidden and that is because uh, if i open the admin middleware here we check if the authenticated user is admin so now we need to check to check if the authenticated user the role id is uh, two save come here and refresh yeah now we go here and the same thing we need to, to do with uh, navigation so here we check if the authenticated user is admin but say if the authenticated user role so role id is to save come here and refresh uh, go to the dashboard first and yeah we have now but this is not uh, very useful for that we can create 
uh, accessors or mutators and here I'm going to copy what we have here this is for the travel 9 go to the user model and paste that in now we don't need the first name but uh, if the user is admin also we need to import the attribute and return new attribute we don't need the value here we are just going to return if uh, this role id is true okay save and with that if i go now here and change what was before so is admin save go to the browser refresh and if i check now yeah and if i go we have the admin because the role id is true but also if i open the admin here and do the same thing remove this role id2 and say the user is uh, is admin like was before refresh yeah we have the same thing and if i go here here we are register as a test we don't see the link and if i navigate to the admin uh, we have forbidden uh, now the last one is to remove all of that so in the admin layout I'm going first I'm going to change this to say uh, Laravel roles and we have the dashboard here which is going to go inside the road and the road is admin index and here we have the form so which is going to be the products and say here the road first we need that the road is uh, admin products index Okay, we don't need the others. Remove all the others. Okay, this one and also the button here. It's save from here and refresh. And yeah, we have only the dashboard and the product. Why we have this role? Okay, here also we forgot to add double curly braces. Something like this. Okay. But the problem is we don't show the page here. So what I want to say to you is if I open the admin index, so here we say admin index, but we don't have it right now here. And that's it because in the admin blade also we need to say I use the header and in the mine layout okay remove this uh, after this div we have the container here I'm going to add the slot the default slot save and the refresh why default slot right yeah and now we have the table of the products we don't have any products right now and if i go to the dashboard we have the admin index okay friends so if i uh, run artisan db seed okay come here and refresh go to the products yeah we have 10 products 
Thank you very much.